Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Yeah, verse, start at verse 1. Watch this. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 1. If a man shall steal an ox uh -huh. or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. Read. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten, that he die. So if a thief be found breaking up, if a thief breaking in your house, right? So say you live right there and you, you gone, you gone, you ain't home, but you pull up while he at the window trying to bust into the joint, trying to get the window up, right? You, while, while that's happening, while that's happening, you find a man and you catch him doing that, right? Watch this. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten. And be hit and you strike him, you shoot him, you hit him over the head with something. That he die. Come on. There shall no blood be shed for him. You good. You killed him. Hey, he shouldn't have been stealing. He violated. That's it. That's what it was. So who's going to avenge the death of that man that was a thief that got killed? That's why there's no guilt on you. Nobody. There's no guilt. There's no guilt. So what makes it to where we have grace? So say you saying we have grace. What about the other person? And that's it. You brought up stealing. What about the other person? He now has grace, right? Yeah. So if he has grace by your understanding, sister, he can finish breaking into your house. Bring it out. And you can't do nothing about it. You just got to sit there and wait for him to get done because he got grace. No, I didn't say so that. I listen didn't say carefully. he had grace the difference, that the he difference, had the right to break the law into his right, house. Right, but the difference, all I'm saying plainly, like he said, don't add, don't take away. It says don't add there unto, neither diminish. We read that in Deuteronomy six, uh, 4 and 3. We read that. You can't add things to the law. Your opinion, your feeling, we can't add that. The Lord gave us a, a godly way to live. Our way is not godly. It's carnal. It's carnal, right? If a thief be found breaking up and you put him to death, you you was not you was not blamed in that. He was blamed in that. I, I know That's the it. fact that he killed grace. the man. He sinned, but he had grace he because didn't he, sin. he sinned read because he killed the man. He didn't Isn't sin. That 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 Watch this, kill? read. That Verse kill? 2. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he died, there shall no blood be shed for him. Why was blood shed? Why was blood shed in the law of Moses before grace? All I'm saying is that I know sister, that, that man. Sister, sister, we got you. We, you want to use it that way, but when he killed the man, I'm he not still using it sinned. anyway. Come on, read it again. And read it. He sinned, right? Watch this. I'm gonna show you the he difference. The I'm man. going. The Lord is gonna show you the difference between murder. I'm gonna show you the difference between murder and a, 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 a what do you call it? A judgment. Come on. Verse two. If a thief be found breaking up Come on. and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. So we can't add to that and go against the Bible. We can't do that. Read on. Verse 3. If the sun be risen upon him. Meaning he got away with it. It ain't the dark no more because when thieves break in at nighttime. Mm -hmm. So he got away with it. Now the sun be risen on him. But the person whose stuff he broke into, they looking for him. Where that nigga at? I heard it was Ray Ray. Where he at? Right? Watch this. If the sun be risen upon him, meaning he got away. There shall be blood shed for him. There shall be blood shed for him. So what is the blood shedding talking about? Repentance. Repentance. He can repent. Leave him alone. He can repent. That was the grace before Christ came. You understand? That's that was the grace. About. No, you, you, you hope. I hope you get to talking about this. So far, since you have not. And we're just trying to explain to you the difference so that you can teach your daughters. Right? That's right. Now get, uh, the last one, then you come back up, Kayo. Yes, now you get, um, uh, no, no, uh, Romans 7 and 7. Oh, yeah. Romans 7 and 7. All right? You, all praise. You, I told you, you're a prophet, bro. Romans, <laughs> Romans 7 and 7. All right. Now we're back in the New Testament, right? That was the law that the brother was explaining to you and that you you want you have some understanding of. But Christianity has done a, a number on our people and we are now just lost in the sauce. And we've what we all the knowledge that we have combined from Christianity says this. Do what thou wilt. 
Right. Whatever you want to do is what you can do. And it's however you feel about it that makes it right or wrong. That's, that's what that, Christianity that's talk. All praises. I'm glad you agree with that. Come on. Romans chapter 7 and verse 7. Come on. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is the law sin? Right. God forbid. The Bible says because it's the same doctrine right now, right? The same doctrine that, that, that your understanding is was back then too, sis. Yeah. It was back then too, right? Yeah. So it's the same thing. They say, so Paul had to address, he said, what shall we do? What shall we do now? Shall, is, is the law sin? Because we can't put somebody to death no more. We can't deal like that no more. So is it now the law is the sin? Watch this, read. God forbid. No, God forbid that. Right, read. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. You don't know like he was saying. You have no moral compass, sister. We are all devils without the laws of God. Right. All of us. Watch this. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it. Read on. For I had not known lust, uh -huh. except the law had said, thou shalt not covet. Wait a minute. He said, I had not known lust, except the law said, thou shalt not covet. Those are two seemingly two separate things, right? But he said, I had not known the law. I mean, I had no, I, I had no, read it again. For I had not known lust, uh -huh. except the law had said, thou shalt not covet. So in understanding you have a, you have lust. You have to understand the law that condemns the way you feel. Like he said, ungodliness. We are carnal. Our minds ain't nothing good about our mind. Give me that real fast. Mark 7 and 21. Give, uh, it's nothing good about your mind. Nothing good about mine. Nothing. Not one. Not one thing. So it's not no about how we feel that makes it right or wrong. We have no moral compass. Right. Only thing we'll serve without the laws of God telling us, stop, or you will be killed. Only thing we'll serve if we didn't have that is ourself. That's it. Wouldn't be no God but us. We will be our own God. Watch this. The book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. This is what's inside of man. For from within. No, give me Jeremiah 17. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. That's better. There you go. That's better. Sister, I implore you to read Mark 7, 21. Don't, you know what I mean? Read it. But I'm trying to jump to the point so the brother can come back. Right? Watch this. Read. Jeremiah. Chapter 17 and verse 9. Bring it out. The heart is deceitful above all things. Now, it's not talking about the heart that pump blood. That don't think. That don't think. That can't deceive. That can't lie. That can't be evil. Only thing that can do is pump blood and receive blood. That's all this can do. So the heart is what? The mind. Right. The mind. The heart is what? It's deceitful uh -huh. above all things. Evil above all things. Above all things, read. And desperately wicked. And what? Desperately wicked. Read. Who can know it? Who can know the mind? Now go to Mark 7, 21. Who can know it? Who can know the mind? Who can say, well, my mind is, 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 is like this. So now that I know it, I know how to overcome it. I know how to defeat it. No, we had not known sin, but by the law, meaning, but by God, something greater and outside of ourselves said, nope. You're going to die for that. And that's not wise. That's not good for you. It's not healthy. Right. 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 It doesn't look right. But in your mind, it's healthy, it's good, and it look good. Right. Right. Come on. This is what's in. This is the deceitfulness that's in our hearts. Minds. Read. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Read. For from within, uh -huh. out of the heart of men, Read. proceed evil thoughts, uh -huh. adulteries, Read. fornications, uh -huh. murders, uh -huh. thefts, covetousness, Read. wickedness, uh -huh. deceit. Lasciviousness and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. All these is what's inside of us. Without the laws of God, now go back to Romans 7. Now we understand what, what Paul was talking about. All, all I am is wicked. So except God says from, from heaven, thou shalt not, only thing I'm going to do is evil. Only right. thing you're going to do is evil. That's it. Nothing else. So if we forsake the law, we forsook God. Not only God, we forsook ourselves. Teach. That's what we've done. Come on, finish that. Romans chapter seven, verse seven. Come on. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is the law sin? Is the law now sin? Come on. God forbid. No. Nay, I had not known sin. The only moral compass we have, read. But by the law is the law of God. That's the only moral compass we have. Come on. For I had not known lust, uh -huh. except the law had said. Thou shalt not covet. But sin, 
taking occasion by the commandment, uh -huh. brought in me all manner of concupiscence. But the sin, I mean, but sin, to, I mean, they can't read it again. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, uh -huh. brought in me all manner of concupiscence. So he says, by the commandments, sin taking occasion, right? How would sin now take occasion? Because now that you know the laws of God that says thou shalt not covet, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. Sometimes you had you have these feelings and you say, wait, the law say that that's wrong. But without the law, how would you know it's wrong? That's the occasion that sin takes now that you know the law. So when we resist the law, that's what we're resisting. God, that's, we're resisting God. Give me Matthews 5 and, and, and 16 and I'm gonna give it back. Five, se seven, five it and 17. Right? That's what that's what's happening. Now it's it, you hold on, these brothers out here talking about I can't I can't the law the, the law why do we resist the law? It's nothing you've disagreed with us. Would you want somebody to steal from you? Would you want somebody to kill you? Would you want somebody to commit adultery against you? Would you want somebody to lie to you? These are the laws of God. Yes, right. So why have we been taught throughout our captivity to resist the laws of God? Why? It's nothing wrong with the laws of God. Jeez. Nothing. We have been lied to, sister. Yes, we have been lied to. And our, guess what? Our pastors, our churches that have been taught by seminary schools have actually been instituted by the ones who brought you here in chains, sister. All, all I was saying is we were on the same page. And I was saying the law. We're we not on the same page. Yeah, well, I was saying that if when you break the law, yes, you did commit a sin against God for breaking for the law. All I'm saying is that there is a way out through grace. It is a way where you don't have to die because you broke that law. That's all I was saying. That, that's, that, we all that's, gonna die, but you can be set free through the bloodshed of Jesus Christ, who now, paid for us to be if, righteous if, if, in God. You know what? There can be blood. The, 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 that's all can, I'm saying. You yourself can be guilty of the blood, the Christ's bloodshed. But the difference is this, sister: uh, 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 um, the the consciousness that the law is what we have to keep. And when we do, and when we do sin, we repent from it. Yeah, that's the difference, yes. sister. Right? Yes. Watch what Christ said. Watch this. No, let me, let me, let's jump straight to the point. Uh, hold, drop that. Go, go to Revelation 22, sister. What's the point of keeping any being righteous, being good? What's the whole point of it? Why do we do that here on this earth? Well, I was told because we are taught to love one another. No, what's the what's the come? What's our reward for doing this, right? So you you run a race for something, and the, and it's the reward, right? Yeah. So, what's the reward for uh, 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 hating the law, dis dis disannulling the law? What's the what's the reward for that? That's hell. That's hell, right? Yeah. You agree, right? Yeah. So what's the what's the what's the the, the reward? for keeping the laws of God in the faith of Christ. That's heaven. That's heaven. I'm glad you agree. Watch this. Yeah. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Real. This is New Testament. The argument comes from the Old Testament, and I mean from the new, from being converted or changed over from the from the Old Covenant to the New Covenant. Yeah. That's where the argument comes, yeah. right? In yeah. this world. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the New Testament. This is as new as you can get. Yeah. This is the last chapter of the Bible. Let's see what it has to say. And Christ is speaking here. Yes. Come on. Blessed are they that do his commandments, Read. that they might have might have right to the tree of life. That they do the command. What are the commandments? The Old Testament. The things you find in the Old Testament. That we're taught. You can rip out it. I heard a pastor say it. You can rip that out of your Bible and shred it into pieces. We have been taught these things. That's why we still die that's why we still our community still look like this Teach. that's why everybody else still rules over us in this world Teach. that's why because we forsook our god the only power that we have that's right. come on and may enter in through the gates into the city who are they the ones that did do the commandments come on right for without for on the outside those who did not make it read are dogs are what our dog. What controversy does the Most High God have with four-footed beasts that He created? None. So who are the dogs here? Those that did not keep the commandments. Those that who cannot keep the commandments. Read on this more. Watch this. For those with for, for without our dogs and sorcerers uh -huh. and whoremongers Read. and murderers Read. and idolaters. Read. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. You know what the lie is? 
we don't have to keep the commandments of God. Right. That's the lie that we perpetuate in ourselves and in our communities and with our children to this day. But that's not what Christ said. Christ said he didn't Let's, come to disannul the law. He right. came to fulfill the law. What is that fulfillment? And he mean? did. That's right. He what did. does that mean? Fulfill. He fulfilled all righteousness in that he kept all the laws of God. So you don't have to do it? No. I, he's saying that even if you break the law, through him we don't have to be condemned to death because he made a way of salvation for us. Christ just said that without the kingdom, blessed are all they that keep the commandments, yes. right? That they yes. may have right to the tree of life, yes. which is eternal life, which yes. is the kingdom of heaven, right. right? For without are all those that sin. Yeah, but he said, even though you die, yes, so you live me, in him. Because we're, me, not, me, we're not going to be con die because of the law. This. Well, I'm going to show you that you will die because of the law. I know I will Watch die, this. but Come he, on. he made a way for just me to listen. get to heaven. All right, just listen. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. That's what you're referencing, right? Yes. He says, think not that I come to destroy the law. Because what we taught in Christianity, I'm going to tell you what we taught in Christianity, sis. We taught that that word fulfill means something other than what it actually means. And then fulfill, like you said, it, it came, he came and did all the laws. And, and, and he didn't do away with them. But because he did them all, now we don't have to keep them. No, that's, that's what, what we talk he said. I, I know it's not that's what I know that's not what he said, but that's what we're taught in Christianity. Guess what, sis? I was a Christian too. Right. That's not what you understand that? So this is not foreign what you're saying to me. This is not foreign what you're saying to these brothers. We all came from out that life. Thoroughly indoctrinated in Christianity. Thoroughly. Come on, watch this. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Or the pro what does he mean, the law or the prophets? What prophets were in the time of Christ? None. They were all gone. So how would Christ destroy them? What they said. What they said. Where's the laws of God written? In the Old Testament with the prophets. Watch this. Come on. I am not come to destroy. He ain't come to destroy nothing they said. Read. But to fulfill. But to fulfill. So now, some of the prophets wrote the same thing that was written in Revelations. So when Christ came, now those things in Revelations not going to happen no more? They're fulfilled because they were fulfilled. Isaiah 14 tells about what's going to happen at the end of the world. But those things have not happened yet. So the fulfillment there was not. He came and done away with, destroyed, or completed everything that the prophets wrote. What he's talking about, he came to do what they said he would do. Right. He never said he's coming to do the law so that you don't have to. Right. He never said that. He never said the doctrine that our people are lost in in Christianity. Never. I, Watch I this. never believed that. It's, it's, more, it's more to it. Watch this. And you have to teach your daughters that. I, you have to teach I, your I sons that. I never told them that they didn't have right? to obey the law. All I'm saying is that well, he did fulfill all righteousness. All right, I'm going to show you something. Come on. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Uh-oh. So now he said, because the earth that you're standing on will remain even in your time. And he knew that. He said... Until earth pass that you're standing on, take a look up in the sky for me. The heaven that's above your head, until those things are gone, everything in the law remains. Right. That's what he said. Watch this. Come on. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. We just read in Revelations, right? Yeah. Right? We just read that in, 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 we, ain't, we ain't in heaven. The Lord ain't came and he destroyed everything, all the sinners, all that. Put the, put the ones who kept his commandments in king. All of that ain't happened yet. So revelations ain't happened yet, right? And earth and heaven still here. Yeah. Read on. Verse 19. These are some clues that we know what we are as far as what we have to do as far as the commandments are concerned. Come on. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Now, he's saying, whosoever shall break. This is Christ. Show the red letters, bro. Show this. Who, what do it mean when the red letters up there? God. It's God, right? God. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments. One of the ones that, because we say, ah, God ain't going to kill me for that. He going to kill me just for that. That's what they. That's what our people say when we teach them. For sisters wearing pants, the Most High God has a controversy against that. Right. He's going to destroy you if he finds you in pants when he comes. Right. He's going to kill you. Watch this. Come on. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Little ones, come on. And shall teach men so. Uh -huh. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. What's the least in the kingdom of heaven? Dead. 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 Kingdom of heaven is rulership. 
So what's least in the kingdom of heaven? Dead, destroyed. A memorial of exactly what not to do except you be destroyed. That's least in the kingdom of heaven. A dog, a sorcerer, a liar, a thief, a murderer. That's the least in the kingdom of heaven. Come on. But whosoever shall do, but whosoever shall do, whosoever shall do, read it again. But whosoever shall do and teach them, whosoever shall do and teach the commandments, read, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The same shall be called great ruler in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.